Hello, this is McD the Beast, and this is McD Sports 4 coming to you today with the McD Sports 4 College Football Top 25 for Week 3. We did not release one since my preseason poll, uh, primarily because none of the Power 5 schools have played. Um, and basically, this is a revised poll, basically, um, from the first two weeks of play, or first three weeks, rather, if you count Week 0. Um, even though I don't think anybody big, I don't even think a group of five played on week zero. But anyways, um, top 25 here. Now, I did not include any Pac-12, Mountain West, or MAC teams. I know the MAC and Mountain West came out with statements basically saying that they have no plans as of right now to start up a college football season. And the Pac-12, I know they're talking about a mid-November uh, start. That would not be happening, in my opinion. I don't think it will happen because of the air quality out west, because of the wildfires. Uh, once again, heart prayers go out to the people affected by the wildfires and on the West Coast and Washington State, Oregon, California, and any other state it may affect. But um, the, I don't think the Pac-12 could play because of the air quality. I was surprised that they didn't move the site of the Cardinals-Niners game from last Sunday. So uh, my top 25 uh, does not consist of those teams, but it does consist of Big Ten teams because the Big Ten came out and said we're starting October 24th. So it does consist still of those teams. So let's get into it. Uh, I'll just go through each team, uh, 1 through 25. I'll make like a comment or two about each, but... It, that's basically I'm going to limit it to that. Also, these videos usually come out on Monday, but due to um circumstances, my internet was going in and out. I didn't trust my internet for the first ha for the like the half of this week, throughout the weekend and uh, Monday and Tuesday, part of Tuesday at least, and um because I just had so much stuff to do. It's not coming out to Thursday, but usually during a normal college football season, it will be coming out on Monday. So, uh, the week four poll will be out on Monday. So, let's get into it. McD Sports 4, college football top 25. Number one, Clemson. I still think they're the best team in college football. They're 1-0 winning against Wake Forest. Ohio State, number two. We'll see what they do starting on October 24th. I wish the Big Ten movies just started on October 10th, but... I, I know they were flo floating around the 17th, but all of a sudden they changed it to the uh, 24th. But we'll see what they do. I, I still think they're the second best team in the country, at least on paper. Number three, Alabama. Uh, they start from a week from Saturday against uh, Missouri, if I'm not mistaken. So they start their season off on the 26th. LSU, number four. They uh, start their season against Mississippi State on the SEC game of the week on the 26th as well. Uh, we'll see how they do. Number five, Oklahoma. They beat Missouri State. A lot of people are raving about Spencer Rattler, uh, saying basically how he already looks better than Jalen Hurts. Uh, they do not play this week, but next week they play Kansas State in week four. So we'll see how they, they do against Kansas State, a uh, team that did beat them last year. But um, I actually moved them up one from the preseason pool. I put Georgia six, which we'll get into here now. Georgia, whoops, Georgia is number six. And um, I do think Georgia does deserve to uh, get lowered, lowered by a spot because I do think that um, Georgia with uh, with uh, Jamie Newman, yeah, Jamie Newman uh, opting out, I think they have a bit of a hole at quarterback. They do have JT Daniels, but I still think they have a bit of a hole. So I dropped them down one spot from the preseason poll. Number seven, New Dame. New Dame, not kind of underwhelming in my opinion, but I moved them up because I do think that Duke is a at least an average football team at worst. So, put them seven. Number eight, Florida. They kick off against Ole Miss on the 26th. So we'll see how that goes. Number nine, Penn State. We'll see what happens on the 24th. Who they play. Uh, number ten, Oklahoma State. They have a game against Tulsa. They're a 23 and a half point favorite. Uh, I took uh, Oklahoma State uh, minus 23 and a half, I believe. So uh, we'll see how they do. And the uh, McD Sports 4 college football picks, you go check that video out on McD Sports 4. But um, Oklahoma State, number 10. 
11 through 15 here in upper 11, Texas A and them. We'll see how they do. And as Vanderbilt, they play Vanderbilt to open up their uh, season on the 26th. Texas in upper 12, they blew out UTEP. Um, they, their big game is going to be the Red River Shootout. That's going to be their big game. Number 13, Wisconsin. We'll see what they do in Big Ten play starting on the 24th. Same here with Minnesota and number 14. We'll see what they do uh, starting on uh, Big Ten play on the 24th. I flipped Auburn and Minnesota because of last year's game. I didn't do that in my preseason pool. That was probably the one change I would have made when I was making the video. I even said I might consider just flipping the two, but I think I just kept it. Um, I decided to flip it for the week uh, for the week three pool. So now Minnesota, they moved up a spot at number 14, Auburn. They dropped a, stop, a spot at number 15. But it's been kind of based off last year. For, that these two teams faced off in the Outback Bowl. And Minnesota beat them, I believe it was 31-24, if I'm not mistaken, the final score. But um, that's why they just got flipped. Auburn 15, we'll see what they do. They open up their season. Um, I, believe, I forget who they open up their season against. Is it Ole Miss who they open up? No, nah, not Ole Miss. Is it Mississippi State who they open up their season against? Because I know Georgia gets Arkansas. I, I forget who they open up. Is, is it Kentucky? Uh, yeah, it's Kentucky. Auburn opens up against Kentucky. We'll see how that goes. 16 through 20 here. Number 16, Michigan. We'll see what happens with them starting when they start a Big Ten season. North Carolina at 17. They played Syracuse. Very slow start, but they opened it up late. Uh, Syracuse has a decent defense. So I'm not going to completely bash North Carolina here. I moved them up primarily because of the Big Ten, Mountain West, and MAC teams, even though there weren't no MAC teams in the uh, McD Sports Board preseason poll. But um, North Carolina, to me, is still the third best team in the ACC. Number 17, North Carolina. Number 18, Cincinnati. They face Austin P. Um, we'll see, they'll probably blow them out, but, um, number 18, Cincinnati, number 19, Memphis, they beat Arkansas State, that's looking like a good win right now, their game against Houston got, uh, postponed, and that's gonna get rescheduled eventually, uh, because they had some COVID issues, but, um, Memphis, number 19, Memphis, in my opinion, uh, they look pretty good against Arkansas State, a team that beat Kansas State, so, Number 19, Memphis. And then number 20, Tennessee. Tennessee, um, they kind of got moved up primarily because 21 through 25 is all new teams. Uh, and we'll see what they do k kicking off against South Carolina during the start of the SEC season on the 26th. That, to, me, the SEC, to me, that's the biggest game in uh, week one for the SEC, week four technically, because uh, whoever wins that game I think is going to have a good season between Tennessee and South Carolina. But whoever loses, I think, might not have as good a, as a season as they're hoping for. So, Tennessee, number 20. Now, 21 through 25 is all new teams. Uh, 21, number, number 21 is Army. Army is proving that they were the team we thought they were going to be last year. Uh, they uh, can run the ball over everyone. I know they're not facing any Power 5 teams this year, it looks like. But um, they might be facing an ACC team. Uh, later, but Army, they are pretty good. Uh, they, they play good defense. They run the ball all over Middle Tennessee and uh, UL Monroe, and I do think they're a top 25 team in the circumstances that we're in. If the Pac-12 was playing and the Mountain West was playing, maybe not so much, but Army, number 21 Army, and they were had a game against Oklahoma, and if they beat Oklahoma early in the season, they I mean, that would be huge, but because of circumstances involving with COVID and the scheduling, they're not going to get the chance to do that. So, number 21, Army. Number 22, Louisville. This was a borderline top 25 team in the preseason pool, in the McD Sports 4 preseason pool. So, I picked them at number 22. They have a big game against Miami. That's technically a top 25 matchup because they have Miami ranked number uh, 18 and Louisville 17. I was saying 18 versus 19. It's actually 17 versus 18. I checked that, that out. But uh, Louisville, um, I think they're a borderline top 25 team. We'll see what they do against Miami. That's your game of the week there. And um, ho hopefully it'll be a good game either way. But Louisville, number 22. Number 23, Louisiana. Uh, Louisiana pressed me against Iowa State. They went in there and just ran them off their own field. With a very good day for the Sun Bowl because you had teams like Arkansas State going ahead. Yeah, they lost to Memphis, which is in my top 25. 
but they went ahead and beat Kansas State. Coastal Carolina ran Kansas off their own field. Uh, they played Campbell this uh, Friday night, Coastal Carolina. That defense is fun to watch. And um, who's the other Sun Belt team that did well? There was three of them. Oh, yeah, Louisiana was the third one. And uh, Texas State has had some impressive performances. South Alabama got a huge upset. So the Sun Belt is proving that they were strong this year. And I put Louisiana on number 23. You could say Appalachian State's better than them. Uh, they get Marshall, a Marshall team that blew out their opponent, Eastern Kentucky. And that game's on CBS, Marshall, uh, Appalachian State. But um, it's in Marshall, actually. But anyways, um, Louisiana, I think, is your best team in the in the uh, Sun Belt right now, just on record. And just on paper, so give me number 23, Louisiana. I gave them the 23rd best team in the country. Number 24, Iowa. They were borderline top 25 team when uh, the the uh, preseason poll came out. They were actually in the top 25 poll. Uh, they'll get back in it since the Big Ten restate, saying they're playing football. They might not restate the Big Ten until like two weeks before. But um, Iowa, I picked them in at 24. Uh, I still think they're taking a step back this year, possibly, but number 24, Iowa. And then number 25, BYU. They were very impressive. That offense is very good for BYU. Uh, I know they had a bit of a COVID issue right now, but they're going to come back. And um, BYU, number 25, I put them at number 25. I do think they are the 25th best team in the country. Teams that just missed it. Usually I do a slide with teams that just missed it, but I'm just going to tell you. Uh, UCF just missed it. Um, I would say Virginia Tech, Baylor, they, those guys missed it. Appalachian State, Miami missed it as well. Pitt, another team that just missed it. They have a big game uh, coming up. Um, it might be this weekend. They, I think they're uh, they they they're playing someone that's uh, worth mentioning. But oh yeah, they're playing Syracuse. So uh, basically. Um, should be a fun week uh, three. We'll be back uh, on no video tomorrow. Uh, I'll do a recap tonight, Thursday night game, but no video tomorrow. And uh, I might come in live with the uh, recap, or I might just film the video. I don't know. I think I'm. I think I'm just gonna come in live with it. I'll come in live after the uh, Bengals, or AKA the Bungos, as some people like calling them. The Cincinnati Bengals versus the Cleveland Browns. They play tonight on Thursday night. I'll come back with that uh, recap live at, at the at the conclusion of that game. And on Saturday, at, at the conclusion of the Miami-Louisville game, I'll come in with uh, your Saturday recap. And then on Sunday, I'll come in at the conclusion of the Patriots-Seahawks game with the NFL Sunday conclusion. And there's going to be no videos on Friday. So that's kind of the plan. Thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up button. Please subscribe to your channel. Next uh, Top 25 poll will be out on Monday. Thanks for watching. McDee the Beast signing off.